Hello, welcome to Ekidia where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Fashe Ochet, as you all know. Now today, we want to see how we can load this our phone lines. And in terms of loading of this phone line, we have done part one of this structure, where we are, whereby we put our trusses, and at the same time, the part two was where we are able to put our phone lines. And we have explained a lot when it comes to how to arrange your pole lines when you are having a structure of different uh, width that video has been done the one you are used to is that of the straight width uh, the same width for example if the width from here to this place if the width from where my cursor is to this place is for example let's say 30 meter you discover that at the back also is also 30 meter so it's very easy to do what to position your what to your pole lines but in the situation whereby you have a different width just like this structure you discover that if the same way you model that uh, pole line you cannot model such a building just like this one so and how to model your lines on a structure of this nature that has been done in the part two of this uh, video so today we want to see how we can load our lines. very very important you know that your roofing sheet and some other tools are going to be resting on what on the pole line that is going to be transferred to your trusses and the rest but first of all i want to say that in case you have not subscribed to our extra channel i want to say you should do so because in this way you are encouraging us to do what to do more in case you are the first time you have not subscribed i want to say that you encourage us by subscribing at the same time to also click on the like button below to like this uh, this uh, video thank you very much so today let's see how this can be done on this uh, video how to load your pole lines so therefore let's go there all right welcome back now looking at this we want to see how we can load uh, this uh, structure so i want to say when you are loading your trusses you have to be very very careful in the sense that you have to know the kind of church or the kind of building for example this is a church and you will notice that in some churches there are things that you need to consider but before then let me let's go to our place of loading where, where i can what now explain more of these things to you so once you have reached this stage in your modeling you are still on the modeling stage once you have reached this stage of your modeling now the next stage is what i'm going to show you now which is what the loading of our members so therefore to do that what you need to do is first of all click on this uh, clouding then right click and come to what edit load you can see it edit what edit load so click on it and then wait for it you can see it here now at this point this is where we do our what our loading now you have to note that when it comes to this loading the area load in the sense that if you look at your your roofing sheet they all cover this place so there's a particular area covered isn't it so we're going to be looking at what the area load so therefore i will now click on full uniform area load is that okay so once i click on it i wait for it so you can see it has come up it has come up let me lift it up a little higher so you can now see it has come up so at this place or rather in this place you need to be very very careful in terms of your loading in the sense that first of all if it's a normal church whereby it's not that big maybe their speakers can be on the ground on the floor yes you can now think of this loading i'm going to give you but in some churches you discover that the speakers are being hung up and not only that i will enter a church of present whereby they have ac and those ac they are along the pole lines and the pipe we are talking of almost like five, uh, 500 uh, millimeter diameter of the pipe so and not only that of ac that we are talking of a building the length of more than a hundred hundred meters let me see hundred meters there about so there are things you need to consider now for this one what you need to do your total load per area is 0 0.7 0 0.75 though some use one whatever one you want to use some use what some use a one kilometer per meter square but normally not to overload is what 0 0.75 or i say 0 0.75 of your loadings but if you decide to be on the safer side if you want you know that have the, that confidence you can talk of maybe using a one kiloniton per meter square but in this case i'm using excuse me i'm using 0 0.75 kiloniton per meter square now how do you do that don't forget that we have what we call life load and a dead load and when it comes to roofing ro roofing there's nothing like maybe life load they are both what dead load isn't it the self-weight and of those uh, of your roofing sheet and the rest is that okay so but if you like you can just put in value your value here and put a uh, 0.75 isn't it 
and then if you, to, for you to for you to appear here you can see this place here, select member by picking or drawing a window for what load assignment in this case we have to if you just draw it now without entering your value it will not appear so you have to enter your value first before you can take off what of drawing your a rectangle and around the what around this uh, roofing sheet is that okay so now for me i'll also i can put here let's say this is my dead load i'll put 0 0.55 is that okay i'll stick up because i'm here you can see this place we have the dead and the life load isn't it so i'll put 0 0.55 i'll put together 0 point what five five on it which is now i can now do my draw line and see Let's wait for it. See, it has come up. So you can see it. Now, if I zoom it very well, you can see it. You can see 0 0.5. If you look at it very well, critically, closely rather, you can see that 0 0.55 is there. And you can see this thing, this one, they are showing what this arrow is facing down on these lines. Now, in this place, this is uh, Protostructure 2022. But if it's Protostructure 2018, for this arrow to point on this uh, line, you have to put minus sign here. Where my cursor is, you have to find minus 0 0.55. You get it now. But in portal structure 2022, you don't need to put minus. Because if you put minus, this uh, arrow will now be facing will now be fa uh, facing up. Which means the load is not being recognized on the pole lines. Are we together? So that is that. Then the next thing we are going to do, after the end putting this one, you can see it has gone through it, isn't it? So you can go forward for the life load and click on this. So you can see now. So at this point, I'm going to enter what, what we call... 0 0.2 0 0.2 is that okay now if you add 0 0.2 plus 0 0.55 it will give us what 0 0.75 am i right yes 0 0.55 plus 0 0.2 give us 0 0.75 isn't it so what i will now do is to do what to now draw my window on this and what allow it to finish so you can now see so you can see it now 0 0.2 you can see them 0 0.2 if you look at it very well let me zoom very well. You can see 0 0.2, 0 0.2, isn't it? So now that is that, which means that if you add this 0 0.2, let's look at this structure, this uh, roof, roof, uh, roofing, if they are what all loaded. You can see for the dead, uh, life load, we say it was 0 0.2, just 0 0.2, or if you like, just put 0 0.7 straight and draw your what a uh, window on it, and that's that's that, that's it to see it. So now that is that, and also let's go and check our G. You can see loaded, they are there, isn't it? 0 0.55. So that is that. Now we have finished loading this particular uh, roofing sheet. Sorry, roofing. So what we now do now is we click on what on OK. As I said, I can't overemphasize over that you have to know the kind of structure or roofing or, or, or church that you are doing. You are what you are loading because if it's like this church I'm talking about that the speakers are being hung up. I mean, big big speakers with all those AC up. Definitely, you need to calculate the weight of those of those uh, speakers at the same time of those uh, ACs, so that you will not be able to know the value. In such case, you cannot be thinking of maybe one kilo newton. You might be talking about because you cannot put a line load on a particular place because you don't know the particular place where we are going to. They are going to put the speaker. You will get it now. You don't know the right the, the particular place where they are going to put that uh, that speaker. So that is why you have to load every all the steel in such a way that anywhere you want to place it, you are what you are good to go, and your structure will not fail. So that is that. So on this ground, I can now click on what? On OK. On OK, I say yes. And wait for it. So while we are waiting for it, I want to say, I want to say that in case you have not subscribed to our Equidel channel, I want to say, I want to say that what? Click on our Equidel channel. Subscribe to our Equidel channel so that you can have all our videos. And not only that, you should be able to also have access to what? To the current videos. And in case you have not also click on the like button, I want to see you should do so by clicking on our on the like button. So if you look at this, and before I will forget, I want to say that we also have what we call academic mentorship class, whereby we train people specially. There are some things that even in this I should have told you, but because I'm concentrating on this air uh, on how to load your trusses, so I have to concentrate on this in order to reduce the length of this air uh, video. So, but in mentorship class, we give you everything that you need to work to know to become a good structural engineer. So that is that. And not only that, we just finished this one, so we have to do the same thing to this particular side. Click on it, and then let me come to this place. Uniform load. Yes, I enter. Okay, I put a 0 0.55, 0 0.55 window around it. Okay, is there. Then I also come to this place, to, to my queue, 
and you know what that stands for and click on it and then also enter our value 0 0.2 and then what i do i draw the window yes all loaded isn't it so what would i do i click on okay and wait for it let's wait for it that is that and not only that we have finished this one and this one so what do we do we also do for this aspect too so this is how you do it as me it's just one you just only one we what we need to do that for so i click on uniform um full uniform area load then click on this my g is 0.55 0 0.55 0 .55. draw my window around it then wait for it very good so now what next thing has come to for q and do the same thing see it's not loaded so what do i do i also come to this place and also 0 0.2 0 that's 0 0.55 plus 0 0.2 that's 0 0.75 what do i do and now click on okay sorry draw my window around and wait for it so now it's what it's loaded it's loaded so the total load on this now is 0 0.75 what do i do i click on this and some use one you can if you use one it's still okay one kilonewton per meter squared so which means that if you like, you just put enter one and draw a window around it and that's it to sit. Or you split it anyhow you want to do it. The bottom line is that the total load on it is what? It's a, a what we call one kilonewton per meter square. So on this ground, this is how you load your trusses. So this structure now is fully loaded. So our next video to reduce this length, our next video is to see how we can now analyze and also design this which is going to be our what our part four analyze it and also design this a uh, particular structure so because we have uh, we have promised we are going to do this from beginning to the end to detailing of this uh, process so that at the end of this video you should be able to design sorry model design model load design analyze and all of those things and also bring out your detailed drawings so thank you very much in case you have not subscribed i want to say see please subscribe by doing that, you are encouraging us and click, always click on the what? On the like button and enroll for our Ecuador mentorship class, whereby you will be properly trained and have confidence in yourself. Not only that, I want to say finally, there's something we call Ecuador group, whereby if you have any challenge or any problem, why designing? It's a place whereby you can quickly post it. As you post it, other engineers that are there will quickly respond to your question to help you solve the problem. And in case anybody asks questions, since you are part of the group, in case you have already joined the group and you have answers to it, why not? That's why you're in that group. To do what? To also share your own view, your own experience, so that we can make this world a better place for every one of us when it comes to engineering. Thank you very much. God bless you. Till I see you in part four of this video. Thank you and bye.